A look at your National Coast to Coast forecast here on this Wednesday, March 30th, includes some severe weather concerns not only today but through the end of the week as the storm system moves east. And this will bring some heavy rain and maybe some flood potential to parts of the south central U.S. and the Gulf Coast states. And then behind the system, we are going to be trending cooler. Of course, uh, pretty chilly today in the southwest. But uh, here's our high temperature, at least our severe weather concerns for this Wednesday. Uh, slight risk from Iowa down into the lower Mississippi Valley. In fact, an enhanced threat from the Arklatex region east into Mississippi. Some large shale, damaging winds, and maybe even a nice that a tornado can't be ruled out. And then the threat shifting a little bit farther east into Thursday to encompass parts of the Ohio Valley down to the Gulf Coast states. And then by Friday, that threat shifting uh, from the Gulf Coast states in the mid-Atlantic region. So again, kind of an ongoing severe weather concern as this particular storm system moves east. Lots of snow ongoing yet, though, through the Intermountain West and uh, some of the heaviest being found over Wyoming, uh, western Nebraska, and even into north central Colorado. There's your shower and thunderstorm activity. Again, pushing east into Thursday, some heavier pockets of rain as a lot of this moisture is being scooped up from the Gulf of Mexico and deposited in, again, the uh, southern U.S. This is on top of our heavy rain that we had about two and a half to three weeks ago, so the ground is still saturated, and that may lead to some additional flood concerns and then some snowfall potential across the far north. But there's that heavier blob of moisture, pretty wide area, maybe two to four plus inch amounts, heavier uh, area of moisture across the Great Lakes. That may be mixing in with some snowfall and then starting to see that moisture taper in the western U.S. But prior to that, some snowfall adding up over the uh, front range of the Rockies and into the higher elevations, and then maybe some across the Great Lakes and the northern New England states. Here's the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook. Again, we are going to be warming back up across the uh, western U.S., but here's that blob of cooler air where readings today are a good 20 degrees below average in some cases. Look at Phoenix up to 68, 43 in Denver, warmer and thundery to the east.